Assalamu alaikum students, how are you? Hope you are safe and sound. I am also well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Uh, today I am going to take class on Bangladesh and Global Studies for class 9, chapter 3, topic Solar System. Though I have already taken 4 classes on this chapter, but some of the important topics I did not discuss. That's why now I like to deliver my valuable lecture on the rest of the topic. Solar system. Dear students, there is a figure of solar system. You can see the sun is the center of the universe. And there are eight planets that are revolving around the sun, keep a specific distance from the sun. The eight planets respectively stare from the sun. First of all, the Mercury, second Venus, third Earth, fourth Mars, then Jupiter. Next, Saturn, then Uranus, and last of all, Neptune. Now I like to say something about the Sun. The Sun is a bright star and a heated star. The Sun is the regular regulator of all planets and minor planets or satellites existing in the solar system. It is greater than by the earth by 1300,000 fold that is 13 lakh times. The earth is away from the sun by approximate 150 million kilometer that is 15 crore kilometer. The temperature of the surface of the sun is 57,000 degrees Celsius. The sun is the source of heat and light of other planets and minor planets. The sun is, has neither any hard nor liquid substance. The sun consists of 55% hydrogen, 44% helium gas and 1% of other gases. Hydrogen existing in the sun transform into helium gas and energy generated from helium gas in a continuous process. The sun revolves on its own axis once in about 25 days. The vibration of life, plants, animals could not exist in the earth without the light and heat of the sun. And the world had remained ever dark without the sun. Dear students, you have understood that what is the importance of sun? Sun is the regulator of the universe. All the planets, minor planets, satellites are revolving around the sun. Sun is the main source and of light and heat of the universe. If there is no sun, the earth remains ever dark and we could not do, do anything. Dear students, the eight planets at a glance given in the chart. The first column, the name of the planet, name of the planet, second column, the position of the planet from the sun, then third column, size of the planet, in the fourth column, if there is any satellite of the planet, then orbits, the the planet orbits the sun by how many days, how many years, and last of all, salient feature of the specific planet. First of all, Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun. It is also a smallest planet. 
it has no satellite. The Mercury orbits the Sun in 88 days. Other important salient feature of Mercury is Mercury is in the Mercury there is high temperature because it is closest to the Sun. There are holes and mountains on the surface of the Mercury. Then Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It has no satellite. Venus orbits the Sun in 225 days. Venus is the closest planet to the Earth. In the western sky, Venus is noticed as evening star and at dawn, Venus is noticed as Vesper. 96% carbon dioxide are available in the sky of Venus. In the Venus, there is acid rain, acid rain shower in the Venus. Third, Earth. The most important planet of the solar system, the most suitable planet for the living being. Actually, the only ideal planet for the living being, being is the Earth. Earth is positioned from the Sun in third place. It has a satellite which is called Moon. The Earth moves around the Sun once in 365 days. There is sufficient oxygen, nitrogen in the atmosphere of the Earth. The average temperature on the surface of the Earth is 13.90 degrees Celsius. Earth is the only ideal planet for the living beings. Now Mars. Mars is the fourth planet stay from the Sun. It, it has two satellites. One is called Deimos and other one is called Phobos. The Mars orbits the Sun once in 687 days. Other important salient feature of Mars is life is impossible in the Mars. There is 3% nitrogen and 2% argon gas in the Mars. There is very little or scant water in the surface of the Mars. It is more colder than the Earth. An average temperature of the Mars is below freezing point. The Mars has vast volcanoes and it is red color. Jupiter. Jupiter is the fifth planet positioned from the Sun. It is the largest planet. It has 67 satellites. Jupiter orbits the Sun once in 12 years. The Sun rises and sets twice in the sky of Jupiter in a day. It possesses a dense atmosphere. The up level atmosphere of the Jupiter is very low and internal atmosphere temperature is very high. Saturn. Saturn is stay from the Sun in sixth position. It is the second largest planet of the universe in the of the solar system. It has 62 satellites. It orbits the Sun once in 29 years and 5 months. Saturn can be washed with often eyes. Its atmosphere contains hydrogen and helium, methane, ammonia gas, etc. There are three bright belts surround the Saturn. Uranus. Uranus is positioned seven from the Sun. It is the third largest planet of the solar system. It has 27 satellites. Uranus orbits the Sun once in 84 years. 
Uranus atmosphere contains huge methane gas. It has bright belts like the Saturn. Last of all, Neptune. Neptune is the planet which stay in 8th position from the Sun. It has no, it has 14 satellites. Neptune orbits the Sun once in 165 years. It is 450 crore kilometer away from the Sun. Neptune is the coldest planet since it is a mass away from the sun. The color of Neptune is bluish. Dear students, if you observe the figure, observe the chart, you will memorize all the important and necessary information regarding the eight planets of the solar system. Now, interior structure of the earth. It is very tough to know the interior side of the earth, but geologists somehow manage to learn some knowledge of the interior side of the earth. The ge geologists divide the interior side of the earth into three layers, earth crust, mantle and core. The center part of the earth is called core. Core is divided into two parts, outer core and inner core. Dear student, look at the figure. In the center part, you can see the inner core. The radius of inner core is 1216 kilometer. It is very solid. That is, it is formed out formed of solid materials while the outer core is liquid its radius is 200,250 kilometer outer core is formed of consist of or composed of hard substance like nickel and ferrum that is why this layer is called nephe layer Now mantle. Mantle is the second layer of the interior side of the earth. It is just above the outer core. Its depth is about 2885 kilometer. The upper part of mantle is formed with basalt and its depth is about 1444 kilometer. Mantle is composed of silicon and magnesium. That is why in short it is called Sima layer. Silicon and magnesium. That is why it is called Sima layer. Dear student, look at the figure. The mantle in the second position. That is mantle is in between core and earth crust. Its depth is about 2885 kilometer. It is formed of silicon and magnesium that's why it is called sima layer last of all earth crust the surface of the earth is called earth crust its depth is at base 64 kilometer earth crust depth beneath the ocean is 3 kilometer while beneath the mountain is 440 kilometer but the average depth of earth crust is 17 km. Earth crust is formed of hard substance like silicon and aluminium. That's why it is called CL layer. These are the three layers of the interior side of the earth. Earth crust, mantle and core. Dear student, observe the figure again and again. Then you will have you will be able to memorize all the necessary information about the interior side of the earth. Dear learners, in a previous class, 
I discussed some problems regarding meridian, longitudes and time. As you have requested me to solve some other problems, that's why I like to solve some other problems. First of all, number one, the meridian of Dhaka is 90 degree and 26 longitude east, east meridian. What is the time of Dhaka when it is 12 o'clock at Greenwich? Look at the problem again. The meridian of Dhaka is 90 degree 26 east meridian. What is the time of Dhaka when it is 12 o'clock at Greenwich? Now answer. We know that Greenwich subs 0 degree. Dear students, we know that Greenwich subs 0 degree. The meridian of Greenwich is 0 degree. So difference of meridian between Dhaka and Greenwich is 90 degree 26 minute. For the difference of meridian, the difference of time will be 90 degree multiplied by 4 minutes. Dear students, we know that if the earth moves 1 degree, it takes 4 minutes. That's why 90 degree meridian is multiplied by 4 minutes plus 26 minute meridian is multiplied by 4 seconds. Then we can get 360 minutes plus 1 minute plus 44 seconds. Then 361 minutes plus 44 seconds equal to 6 hours 1 minute 44 seconds. As meridian of Dhaka is more than that of Greenwich and Dhaka is to the east of Greenwich, so the local time of Dhaka will be more than that of Greenwich. The time of Dhaka will be 12 hours plus 6 hours 1 minute and 44 seconds equal to 18 hours 1 minute 44 seconds equal to 6 hours 1 minute 44 pm. That is when the time at Greenwich is, Greenwich is 12 noon. The local time of Dhaka will be 6 hours 1 minute 44 pm. Dear students, in this way, if two meridian is given, two longitudes is given, we can find out the local time of other place. Now, second problem. The Greenwich time is 7.20 am. If the time is noon for a place, then determine the meridian of that place. I repeat, the time in green is, is 7.20 am. If the time is the noon for a place, then determine the meridian of that place. Now, solution. When the green is 7.20 am, the local time of the particular place is 12 noon. The local time of that place is more than that of Greenwich. We know that if the time of a place is more than that of Greenwich, the place is to the east of Greenwich. So the place is located to the east of Greenwich. The difference of time between the two places would be 12 hours minus 7 hours and 20 minutes equal to 4 hours 40 minutes equal to 280 minutes that is we multiply 4 hours into minutes and we can get 20 280 minutes dear students you know that moves 1 degree meridian by 4 minutes so we can solve the problem in this way in the following way by 4 minutes time that orbits 1 degree meridian by 1 minute time, the earth orbits 1 by 4 degree meridian. So by 280 minutes time, the earth orbits 280 divided by 4 degree equal to 70 degree meridian. As Greenwich subs 0 degree, as the meridian of Greenwich is 0 degree, 
the meridian of that place will be 0 degree plus 70 degree equal to 70 degree east. So when the time at Greenwich is 7.20 a.m. and if the time of a place is 12 noon, so the meridian of that place will be of course to the east of Greenwich and it is 70 degree east meridian. Dear students, in this way, if the two time is given, then we can find out the meridian either to the east or west of prime meridian. Dear learners, now what today? Pray for me, I will pray for you. Stay home, stay safe, study regularly. I am Ahmedullah. I like to welcome you for my next class. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.